Kittle changed its look in 2025, and as a result, something like the masks feature can sometimes trip people up. So I want to do a quick walkthrough here of the masks feature. I'm on a Merch by Amazon template here, and I'm going to just add in an image. So I'm going to go here to the left-hand side. I'm going to click on Photos. I'm going to type in New York, and we'll see what comes up. Here's a nice photo right here of New York City. I'm going to make it nice and big. And now what I want to do is add a layer mask to this in the shape of a heart. So how do I do that? So I'm going to show you what not to do as well as what to do in this video. So the first thing is people go over here to the left hand side and they click on elements and then they click on basic shapes. This is a mistake. You're going to see that there's a heart right there. When I click on it, it's just a shape. It doesn't do anything. So I can change the color on it. I can rotate it, but I can't use this as a layer mask. So you don't want to grab that shape when you're looking at shapes. What you want to do is look right underneath basic shapes. There's a masks shapes feature right here. I'm going to click show all and you'll see a whole bunch of different shapes that pop up. I'm going to click the heart in this case and you'll see now the heart is sitting here on top of the photo and when I click around on it nothing is happening. So this is a common complaint I've heard is what do you do to activate the mask. So what you want to do is move this heart underneath the photo. So you can do this either by clicking the heart, right clicking it and going to back or you can click the photograph, right click and go to front. Those are your two options. So I'm going to click the photograph and go to front and now you'll see the heart is still there but it's underneath the photo. And now when I hover over you'll see it just kind of takes. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to click control Z and undo it. So you can see here there is the heart and then there's the photo. You just need to kind of drag the photo and you'll see it kind of flips on like that. Now it's part of the mask. So you'll see as I slowly drag it in, it kind of pops on and now you'll see it becomes a layer mask. Another common question I get is can I edit this after it becomes a mask? The answer is yes. Just simply click on the heart which is now your layer and double click it. So now you're going to see I can move the photograph underneath, perhaps make it look like that for example. Just click outside of it and now I've edited the way this looks. Double click it, move it up or move it down or side to side and you can edit it just like that. The other thing you can do is you can actually splice your layer mask. In this case, if you'd like to have just half of this, just double click it, move the picture over so it's just half of the heart and then click outside. And you'll notice now it's just the half. Now, yes, you'll see there's another piece of the heart there, but no one's ever going to see that if that's your final piece of your design. So you could make a butterfly, for example, or half of a door. So look at all these other layer mask elements and ask yourself, is there a way that you could make this a different type of design? So for example, I'm going to open up my butterfly here. I'm going to go into my images and I'm going to type in future. And we're going to see a couple of really cool, funky, sci-fi looking designs. I'm going to grab this picture and I'm going to grab this picture. And what I'm going to do now is copy this layer mask. Control C, Control V. So I've got two now, two butterflies now sitting in my palette. So I'm going to grab my first picture. I've just hovered right over the first butterfly. There it is. I'm going to grab my second picture, hover over the second butterfly. There it is. So now I've got two butterflies, right? I'm going to double click on the first one move this over so it's halfway, that will cut it. Double click the lower one, move this over so it's halfway and that will effectively splice it as well. Now I can move this right up to here and I've got a cool looking butterfly design that is completely unique because it's actually the pastiche of two different photographs. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. I love using Kittle. Kittle's got a ton of features. I didn't even talk about things like templates and there's all sorts of cool design elements inside of Kittle. Make sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link and you purchase the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. I love using Kittle and I use it a lot. Here's another video all about Kittle. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.